Hey, how you doing? Today we're going to install the Barbara sleeper sofa. Uh, when you get it, it's going to um, come in a package like this. So all you'll do is you'll lift up and you'll see all the components. Uh, there's two pillows, legs, two arms, and the hardware. Okay, so the first step is to pull out one of the side arms. And on the back, towards the bottom, we're going to locate about four inches from the top, you're going to fill a piece of wood that stretches across. There's going to be three spots where we're going to need to insert these screws. So you can fill with your finger and if you scoot over you'll be able to fill a hole there. There's one on the left, right, and in the center. The one in the center is a little lower because there's a piece of wood going in this direction, so it's there. And then there's one also right here. So you take one of these screws and you insert it into the hole and you screw them in. Now, there are not holes marked, so you have to fill them with your fingers and find them. You can take this and screw with some force and it will make a hole there, or you can take a small knife and make a starter hole and it'll be a little bit easier. Again, right here, and then you do your mark. Okay. Right there. There's not gonna be sound. So now you have Okay, now that you have all three screws in, you're going to take this piece and it's going to be fitted into three pre-drilled holes on the side. Before you get started, you're going to take this spacer and you're going to put it on the bolt that is farthest from the back of the couch. So it's going to be the one in the back. Now you're going to line this up with the holes, guide it in. Now I would suggest to take the cap and do the middle one first. That way it will be equally spaced from the front and the back. You'll take the other two. There will be one on this side. Now just make sure they're all tight. And there you go, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, you, one thing you wanna check before you're complete is that there's no gap here. If you see that there's a little space here and the arm's a little loose, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna loosen the outside ones just a tad, tad bit and you want to make sure the middle one is as tight as could be. Once it is as tight as it can be, then go back to the outer edges and tighten them as much as you can. and that should do it. Okay, before we install the legs, you need to inspect to see if the arm, if it happens to be lower than the bottom, then we need to make sure it's flush with the bottom. So you just put a little pressure until it's flush. Check all four corners. Once it's flush, we can then install the legs. You'll locate the holes in the corners and just screw them in.
Once you get them in, you'll have one peg remaining, which will go right in the center in the front. You'll do the same thing. You just screw that all the way in as well.